Hey everyone, this is Teresa Benson, Product Marketing Manager here at Redline Controls, and we're continuing our series on Crimson 3.1. We're looking at the display from my 7-inch graphite HMI, and for the most part, this is the same as what we've been working in for a while now, but you'll notice that the labels are a little bit more archaic. It's a little hard to understand what these different things mean. And that's because I was doing some housekeeping over in my uh, program in Crimson 3.1 and I shortened some of the tag names and I bundled them together in a way that starts to make sense to me for programming purposes down the line. The challenge with that, if you do something like that, is exactly what you see here. If we don't maintain data about our data tags, we aren't helping out our operators and giving them as much information as possible about what they're seeing on the screen. So right now, what the data tag name is, is what we're seeing here. What I'd really like to see is a label of some kind. So guess what? Crimson has labels built in, no problem. Let's look at this first one. This first one is the scaled uh, value for level. Remember, we did that in a previous episode where we took that analog input that goes from 0 to 32767 and we scaled it. Now, originally, we scaled it to a value between 0 and 10. We were talking in terms of voltages. I'm going to make this a tank level in terms of gallons, and so I have 0 to 5,000. So I want to uh, give it some meaning. I'm going to say tank. Uh, level and uh, I'll put that it's in gallons and that label will appear on the display page. All right. Now there's also a description field. That's if we want to provide some insight and information for other people on our team who might be working in this database as we configure a control for a machine, for example. So we might say this is a scaled uh, representation of the analog input um, for tank level. All right. What I can do is go ahead and copy that couple pieces of information to my uh, three digits after the decimal place value. I don't want to copy everything because I don't want to lose what I already have in here, so I'm going to do copy selective. All right, that little box tells me that it is waiting for an input from me. I'm going to click on this, and I am going to look in here for the properties that I want to apply, and in this case, I want to choose label and description. I click that, click OK, and there they are. Now it turns out because we formatted this a numeric data tag with three places after the decimal point, you see we have units down here. So I'm going to put space GAL there. I'm going to get rid of it on the label. We'll see how that's different. This is a scaled representation three decimal places of analog input for tank level. All right, let's go see what this looks like. It didn't change, but it will as soon as I click OK. All right, so now we have tank level. It's, it's scaled, but there's no decimal points. We have decimal points here. Uh, let's go ahead and do the same thing for these two data tags. I'll be right back after I've done it. All right, I've gone in there to the data tags and I've put max value and set point, and we did these just a moment ago. I'm gonna go ahead and send that to my HMI, and we will see those changes take place now. Okay, one more thing that we can do for our operators to make it a little bit easier for them to uh, type uh, data entry into our screens is change the size of the keypad. Depending on the size of the HMI you have, maybe uh, they'll fat finger a number, that kind of thing. So let's change the size of this keypad from where it's at to something slightly larger. Let's come back over to Crimson 3.1. And up in the pages area, we're going to see some properties. In this case, we're going to go to the entry field and there's keypad options keypad size, let's go ahead and pick larger. All right, go ahead and send that down to our HMI 
and let's see how that changes things. I'm going to click on that and it's clearly quite a bit larger and if you could see it on the screen it's a great size for you know an average person to put in um, a data value on it. So I'm going to pick I don't know 250 and we'll see those lights go off until the analog input gets to 250 and then the green light's going to come on and everything works just as before. So that's how we deal with labels, descriptions, and changing the keypad value on our user interface. Look for more tips and tricks in our next episode on Crimson 3.1.